Hi, I'm Xanthia. I'm an intern. Um, I went to U Chicago for med school, um, but I'm initially from the West Coast. And I am, I guess, three months into intern year. Um, I did some inpatient rotations first, but wonderfully, one of the things you get to do as an intern is have some elective time. Um, so I'm on my pulmonary consults elective block. And it's a two, it's been a two week block. I'm halfway through my second week and it's been great. So usually I leave my house around 7.30, drive five minutes, walk in. I get here around like 7.50 or so, look up any patients I've been following. Um, and then we start getting new consults around eight. Um, so then um, our fellow sort of divvies up who will go see which new consult. So I usually get one or two, look them up, gather my thoughts, have time to do reading about their particular condition or the differential, which is really nice. Um, and then usually we have time for a little bit of teaching like in the conference room. And I've also been able to tune into morning report, which is at 11, um, which is just great because I love morning report. And then that takes us to noon and then there's time to you know go see another patient or um, just gather more thoughts and then we round usually from like one to four or so depending on the number of patients we've um, got on our roster and like yesterday we did that until around three because we had a pretty light census but we went to radiology and reviewed some films with a radiologist and then we came back here and um, our attending did some teaching on asthma, which was wonderful. Uh, then I finished my notes, took about an hour and I left around like 5.30. Um, got to go home and have dinner and go for a walk and just feed my cats and relax and go to sleep at nine because I like doing that. <laughs> Are you excited to have me follow you on that? <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited to have you follow me all day. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emily. I'm one of the pulmonary and critical care fellows. Hi, I'm Yalda. I'm a fourth year medical student on the pulmonary consult rotation. How we think about patients who are hypoxic. So you guys know there's four or five categories that we typically discuss when we're thinking about hypoxia. And I think the starting point that I usually use is if they have an elevated AA gradient or a normal AA gradient. And you guys want to start off just by listing any cause of hypoxia that you guys think about. I feel like the, the easiest to think about to the least likely is low FiO2. Yeah, so let's talk about normal AA gradient. And there's two types of hypoxia that are associated with a normal AA gradient. How do you think their breathing is today? Well, there's some crabbiness. Oh. Yeah. I kind of heard that too, actually. And they So this is the HOA lounge, the House Officers Association lounge, for all residents who are members. Um, I'll show you what's in there. But I often come here to get uh, a beverage, caffeine, or sugar in the form of candy, or just hang out and finish notes. Pass. Key. Looks pretty cool right now. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, the feet are going. <laughs> this is sleeping mode. <laughs> Having a, a day on home consults. How's it going? Any sore eyes? Mm -hmm. Not yet. Hey everybody, my name is Mark Peters Golden. I'm a professor uh, in the Pulmonary Critical Care Division. Um, I'm a physician and a scientist, and uh, 
I'm uh, doing pulmonary consult rotation right now, and we're you know, trying to save the world from shortness of breath. A right complex perineumonic effusion. She um, had a very thoughtful discussion with her primary team this morning, who's really been advocating her for her during this hospitalization. He just still doesn't know whether he's getting hit. His, because he would say his hit score is like four, or his four T scores is like four, four to five. And this has happened now three times. So um, what they did was they showed that if patients were on supplemental oxygen for at least 15 hours out of the day, they had less um, decline in cognitive function, um, they had better survival, and they had less um, core pulmonality. It's the end of a great day on Palm Consults. I uh, hope you enjoyed following me and hope you have a great rest of your day.